So welcome back to the channel with me, Poison Smurf. Today we've got an absolutely fantastic video for you guys. If you enjoy it, do remember to hit that thumbs up. It really does help us over here at the channel. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. We do try and get back to everybody. If you haven't done so already, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any future videos. Watching our videos all the way to the end really is the best way to support the channel. But if you do want to go that extra step, check out our official merchandise in the description below. So as you can tell by today's thumbnail, we've got an absolutely ridiculous, explosive status build for you guys. Now starting off with the specialisation, obviously we've gone with the Demolitionist. Not only do you get this beautiful grenade launcher with a whopping 3 million damage, if you're running in a group, you're also getting 5% damage to targets out of cover. Now when you think about it, that's like giving everybody on your team a single piece of Walker Harris and an extra 5% weapon damage. Also with that, we get the artillery turret, and of course we get the artillery turret mods with the extra 10% skill damage. But the main reason we're running this, after all, it is an explosive damage build, so we get an extra 10% increased explosive damage, making sure, of course, we spec in our weapons to the classes that we're running today, which is going to be assault rifle and rifle. So moving down to our weapons, we're going to start off with our pistol, and of course we've gone with our TDI card custom 45. This one's got a max weapon damage of 136k, 310 RPM with 18 in the mag, 15% pistol damage, and of course a skill tier with the talent in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 15% skill damage, using a skill gives us 15% weapon damage, using both at the same time doubles the bonus giving us 30% of either. As far as our secondary is concerned we've gone with our named rifle, the Harmony. As you can see this one base damage 146k, 300 RPM with 50 in the mag. This one's rolled 15% rifle damage, 13% crit hit damage, 8% damage to targets out of cover, with of course perfectly in sync. This time around Shooting an enemy gives us 20% skill damage, using a skill gives us 20% weapon damage, using them both gives us a massive 40%. But there is, a, is our secondary. What are we using as our primary? Well of course it's the capacitor, the named exotic assault rifle. As you can see this one is 95.7k base damage, 700 RPM with 41 in the mag. We have a triple god roll, 15% assault rifle damage, 12% damage to armor, 9.5 health damage. With of course the talent capacitance. Shooting an enemy builds up stacks up to a maximum of 40. Each stack gives you 1.5% skill damage. After 5 seconds they start to decay. So if we can get max stats, 40 stats, we're looking at an extra 60% skill damage. If for whatever reason you don't have either of these two weapons, don't worry, we've got you. A great alternative is the test subject assault rifle. This one, as you can see, is 72.4k base damage, 700 RPM with 50 in the mag. This one's rolled 15% assault rifle damage, 21% health damage, 10% damage to targets out of cover, with again perfectly in sync, giving us that whopping 40% skill damage buff. And the fact that we're using this as our primary, this allows us to run our lovely exotic shotgun, the Sweet Dreams, as our secondary. As you can see, this one's 808k, 70 RPM with 8 in the mag, 15% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, 10% damage to targets out of cover, and of course that wonderful talent, Sweet Dreams. This simply allows us to run up to any red or purple enemies, just simply melee them and get an instant kill. Really helpful with a really squishy build like a skill build. And now moving down to the build, as this is going to be an explosive status build, we're going to be going with the Vow Mask. This one's going to come with one skill tier, 10% status effects, 10% hazard protection, with a 12% skill haste mod, and of course the talent toxic delivery. Status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion degrade. Moving down to our chest, we've gone with a Wivenware chest. Not only are we going to get that one piece bonus of the 10% skill damage, this one's rolled with a skill tier, 10% skill damage, 10% status effects with a 12% skill haste mod, with of course the talent glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%, all damage you take is amplified by 50%, again giving us an additional 25% amplified damage. Moving down to the holster, we've gone with a group or sombra. Not only are we going to get that 15% created damage for the one piece, this one's rolled with a skill tier, 10% skill damage, and 10% status effects. That's what we're looking for all of these pieces, guys. Skill tier, skill damage, status effects. At the cost of the knees, we're winning a second piece of ribbon wear. This second piece bonus is now going to give us an additional 10% status effects from the brand. Once again, rolled 10% status effects, 10% skill damage. Moving up to the gloves, second piece of Grupo, giving us an additional 15% explosive damage from the brand set. On this, we're rolled again, skill tier, 
10% status effects and 10% skill damage. Finishing off with the gear, moving up to the bag, we've gone with the China Light bag, the named Strategic Alignment. Not only do we get 15% explosive damage from the One Piece brand bonus, this one again is Road Skill Tier, 10% skill damage, 10% status effects, with the talent Perfect Shock and Awe. Applying his status increase is 20% skill damage and repair for 27 seconds. Now, as this is a status build, that's fantastic and couldn't be any better for us. As far as the skills are concerned, of course, we're going to be utilising the artillery turret. This is not only great for PvE, but also for PvP. So, if you quick, take a quick look at the PvE damage, we're looking at about 6 million damage with 110k bleed for 12 seconds. On PvP, we're still looking at over 800k damage with 26 to 28k bleed for about 10 to 12 seconds. As far as your secondary skills concerns, well, you really can choose. Some people prefer to run the assault drone just to give them a little bit more cover. Another great choice would be in the jammer pulse, for example. That will spread and utilize the veil mask. Also, an explosive seeker mine would be a great choice. It's really down to you guys. Now that you've seen it on paper, take a look at it in action. So that's going to do it for today guys, big thank you to everyone that made it to the end of the video, that really is the best way you can support the channel, remember do hit that thumbs up before you guys go, any questions drop them in the box below, but until next time guys, stay safe, and most importantly, keep on grinding.